Hey guys, here's what we're going to be making today. It is this little fortune cookie plush, and this was requested by Leslie on Facebook. So yeah, let's get started. For this tutorial, you'll need felt in the colours white and brown, white and brown thread, also pink and black thread, fabric scissors, a sewing needle and the template which you can download in the video description. First, trace around your template onto brown felt. Then fold the felt over and cut out the shape. You should get two identical pieces. Now using your white felt, cut out a thin rectangular piece like this. You can also cut out some black circles for the eyes if you want to do the eyes open. Um, but because I'm going to be doing this face then I don't need to do that. Now thread your needle with pink thread. Because we're going to sew on the little heart on the label. Insert your needle through the back of the white strip and it wants to be about a third of the way along. Now pull it all the way through, like this, and then insert it back through the fabric making one stitch. Now we can continue to make stitches in this way to create a little heart shape. Here is what my heart looks like. Once you've done that cut off the thread and thread your needle with black thread. Now take one of your brown pieces to start to create the face in the same way. For the eyes I normally do two stitches on the top diagonal and then two stitches on the bottom diagonal. Just like that. To know how far apart to put the eyes, I normally try to imagine the length of this piece and then starting from the point I count two of them and that's where I place my second point. Now make the little mouth and then use pink or red thread to add the cheeks. For my cheeks I normally just do three really short vertical lines. Um, but you could also do horizontal lines or diagonal lines or you can do little circles as well. So just choose the style that you think looks the best. So once that's done we can start to sew it together. Thread your needle with white thread and then folding your rectangle in half we're just going to sew these two sides closed using a blanket stitch. Once you've done that it should look like this. Now thread your needle with brown thread and placing your two brown pieces back to back we're going to sew around the edge using a blanket stitch. Don't forget to add the little white piece we made earlier. Once you have about this much room, add some stuffing. Try not to overstuff because remember we're going to be pulling these pieces together. And once you've added your stuffing, then sew up the gap. Now once you get to the end, we're going to pull these two edges together and hold it tight like this. And then sew a couple stitches in the middle of both of them so that it holds it together. And once you've done that then we are finished. Um, I think this one turned out really cute. I'm sorry it's such a simple tutorial but I didn't really have a lot of time to film today because I've been studying really hard for my exams. Um, but all my exams are going to be over in a week exactly so I'm really excited to, about that and being able to film more tutorials for you guys. Um, but for now I think this one turned out pretty cute so yeah, <laughs> if you make this push then please leave me a video response because I would love to see and request more tutorials in the comment section below. So, thank you for watching. Bye guys.